Hello, it's Scorpio! Special treat time! Yay! Oh, I'm so glad I didn't scratch that up. Yeah. These are my new cards. What deck are they? They are the Starman Tarot deck. By David De La Angelis. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hello, Amanda. Inspired by the artworks he created for David Bowie. He actually did two album covers. He designed them for David Bowie. And it was just like, ooh, it's got David Bowie on it. Like, even the glyphs on the back of it are alien, and I really, really like them. Ah, I love it. We're going to do your reading for you. It's going to be a single. I'll do a Thunderdome come February or whatever shit, right? Um, I will not... I will try to make sure to have them done before the end of January. That way you guys have it. Because it's going to be the very beginning. You know? So, we'll go from there. But yes. I'm going to be clarifying with my Shadowscape deck, too. I used to call it something else, and I don't remember what that was. But, it's whatever. Anyway, we're going through this. No whammies. Okay. Let's see what we got for you. Two of Swords reversed. The King of Wands. It's possibly a Leo, most likely. Could be also Aries or Sagittarius. Or just the energies, right? Six of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. That's an odd one. Hierophant. Princess of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Look at this one. I have yet to have seen this one yet. It's definitely about planting and growing, but I definitely think it's the whole, like, you reap what you sow deal. I tried blank. Thank you. Sounds like a good combination, dear. There you go. Okay. Watch this bitch be like a raging alcoholic or some shit, and I have no idea. That is so possible. People are serial killers every day. I'm just saying. I don't know why I'm saying that to you guys. I didn't mean to. It was just she and I usually talk early in the morning because that's when she gets up, and I just happen to be up. Well, it's not that early. It's like 8. So it's not that bad. God damn it, Amanda. Anyway. Let's go on with the reading, shall we? We shall. Okay. Hold on. Oh, cool. I might want to check that. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'll be checking that in a second. Anyway, let's continue on. We have... The High Priestess over here are secrets. Delving into them. Being in tuned with... Your spirit, your intuition, having weird green stuff pour out like it's Mortal Kombat chick time, right? Like, very serpentine. A lot of transformation and transmutation happening in that, right? It's a very different vibe with the priestess. She's definitely taking what she's learned and uh, applying it somewhere, right? So we got the Two of Swords. Where there's a decision that is mentally just bothering somebody like they're completely at odds with it I feel like and they can't come to some conclusion and it's definitely keeping them in a position where they feel like they are plagued by it for sure like Like, they're indulging in whatever the decision is so much that they can't choose between one or the other. And that's like, they're, God, bless America cards, okay? Because I'm trying not to say that very much anymore. I have a baby, and I, and I don't want that to be its first words. Um, but yeah, Scorpio, um, the devil is here. It could be a Capricorn, but it's somebody indulging. Somebody being plagued by what they're getting from, like, yeah, she's down here cowering and being in pain, but up top she's getting a lot of power from it. As above, so below. There has to be a little bit of suffering in order to gain, right? And this person 
is gaining through their suffering. Like they're suffering with trying to choose between these two. And it's a hard decision because they still really like this. They aren't at the bottom yet. And then down here, um, you reap what you sow kind of shit. You know, like, um, I, I almost want to say it's a fake. Oh my god. Two seconds. I need to fix this. I'm, I don't want to put ash on the back of these, but like, I don't want ash them at all, but. God, I'm tempted. Maybe I should get a rag, but then it would cover up the pretty porcelain colors and marble and shit, right? Anyway, before I was so rudely um, interrupted, I have to say, these cards are very energetic, too. Like, a lot of fucking energy. They do this way more than what I thought they would. Lots of movement in them. Um, but the Seven of Pentacles is like, someone put it in, like, poisonous plants from the get-go and are almost surprised that they're poison after they fed them to like three of their neighbors and they all died being like oh well, I didn't realize like poison ivy could kill a person <laughs> you know um someone might have some regrets about that someone might be mulling over those um cups that got spilt over that they weren't able to keep they might just be reflecting on what feels good right now because that's all they want to reflect on. Sure, it was a failure, but I need to feel better so I don't think of myself as a failure instead of fixing what made me fail in the first place. Then we have the King of Wands up here. Most likely, Leo could also be Aries or Sagittarius. Someone who is ruling kindly, someone who is um, very fair. In decision making. Still all about him. Like he'll take your ideas and just be like, oh, well, this is a great idea. I'm so glad I thought of it. Like that kind of king, right? Like he's one of those. He's <laughs> but he's very inspirational and he does charge ahead, leading pathways with his fury and might. Oh! There's seven pentacles again. Yeah. Are you afraid he might be the poison ivy? Or do you want him to get poisoned? <laughs> oh god, is this a bad romance? Scorpio? You can't let somebody go that you know is bad for you? Or there's really nothing to be invested in? Like the fruit doesn't even taste good anyway? But you just can't let it go? Is that the vibe? Is this literally like Lady Gaga's song? Are you serious right now? Uh, what's going to, uh, against you below what you want? This hierophant who establishes the rules, who goes about tradition, belief systems, structure, society, politics, all that stuff, right? He is the established order incarnate. He is against you with what makes you fucking happy. <laughs> Scorpio okay so what you want you already know that isn't even the best there is out there but you want to go for it anyway even though it goes against everything you possibly believe in what okay Oh, okay. I don't know who he is. <laughs> but that's cool, man. Okay, so like... This seriously feels like you're just going against like... I mean, it could be Taurus. There could be things that you don't know about as you go off chasing your happiness, focusing on the sun like Icarus, right before it melts your wings and thro throws you into like the rocky edges and cliffs and into the water, never to be found in one piece again. You know, like, you know, it, it could be saying that. It could be saying something completely different. I'll look over all of these, though. I promise. Um, Six of Wands reversed. Um, you threw all that in the air, and it only went three inches away from your body. Like, whatever you tried to kickstart, you feel like you've had a failure with, and you're afraid, possibly, you, you owe someone an apology? 
Like, you went off and, like, thought you could do this thing, and then it was just, like... Oh, I, I totally miscalculated <laughs> what I was, I thought, would be a good idea right now. Oops. Okay, this... Was she upright? She was upright earlier, because I remember that. Yeah. She was upright earlier. I don't know how I missed that. I'm pretty sure she was upright. Um, if she wasn't upright, it would have been still a failure. Just for reference. If it isn't up, if it wasn't upright when this goes up, I'll write in this below and like pin it where you can see that... Um, how I would describe her the other way. You just gotta stay tuned, and I gotta remember to pay attention. Right? Right. Um. Yeah. So. Princess of Pentacles, right? Like. She is a very immature, yet trustworthy investment. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take a while. It may not be mature in its efforts right now. But it does not lead to disappointments. Like, I want for... A new offer, as uh, juvenile as it is. Um, seven of Wands. And six of Wands up there. After giving up a battle, I feel like. Or giving up a fight of some sort. Just giving in, surrendering. Like, letting it go, just not even being bothered with it anymore, I feel like, with the Seven of Wands reversed. Now, if she were originally upside down, like I saw her, but I don't know if that's how she was originally, but I'm pretty sure she was upright. If she were reversed, it'd be like, this would definitely be an utter failure, and you might as well give up on it. But she's upright, so it's like, there's a seed that can be planted and can be successful. But I don't know if someone's going to give up on that or not. Something close to a good beginning is potential in this is just determinant on whether or not somebody gives up on that. Or maybe you have to give up in order for this to begin again. But if she was like uh, reversed, man, it would have been a different and no, don't fucking bother with that, right? But you guys will know before I will. Because I'm not looking over it. <laughs> but I explained it that way, so maybe that'll help too. What is the ending fam? Ah What goes below the high priest Oh, okay. King of Wands There he is. Um he's up here too. But he's below the high priestess. So is he your dirty little secret? Some Scorpio's out there. Um Who's this king of wands? Like, someone in charge? Someone who's in control? Because he's upright in both scenarios, but it's like... Then we got this seven of pentacles and this seven of pentacles, and it's both like they're, neither of them have produced anything worthy of value, even though that's what you want. It's like, as the devil, you're kind of hooked onto this, too. Like, you're stuck on an X. Stuck on an ex that's probably not the best person for you. And I feel like some of you are afraid, or somebody is afraid, if it's not you, Scorpio, that um, they're going to have to apologize for trying to start something that didn't go anywhere. Or become meek in their setting, you know? Let us see what your three advice cards are. Oh, the Empress right here. There needs to be some nurturing. There needs to be some um, taking care of yourself rather than overindulging yourself. Because it's definitely not bringing you anything that's happy right now. Like, instead of being the devil, 
Um, throw those leaves with the shovel with the new Empress card for $5.99 today. Not really, like, because I'm not going to charge you to look at a card. But, you know, like, instead of casting out all those negative vibes, cast out some leaves. That's all she's saying. Those leaves will decompost. They will become fertilizer for future grounds and make the ground more f fertile for future plants to plant their seeds. As long as there isn't a lawnmower around, anyway. And those seeds will grow into beautiful, vibrant things. Like trees and shit. Or even flowers. Uh, I dropped like everyone. Um, this is the only one. Okay. Ten of Cups reversed. There's a lot of glow, like there's celebrations and such, right? People are having fun, kind of slinking their arms around each other in a really weird way. Like they're dancing or something, or just straight up making out. It really doesn't matter. You're the only one upside down. And... Okay. And I feel like someone's really dissatisfied with how the situation's going. <laughs> Despite that they want to be happy, it's just not working for them. Like the order is being like, hey, um, this is not the right way of going about. Like, I, then I don't even think it's in a bad way that somebody is doing it. I just think it's the simple fact that there is like a hierarchy saying, quit, desist, that's enough. I could have moved this thing way over It made more room. Jesus, I'm just now standing up and looking at where the cards are laying on here. It's been a minute, but yeah, Jesus Christ, I could have like brought all this over. You can move the fuck out the way, pen. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a lot better now. Um, final card, right? Will of Fortune. It's like someone's afraid to, like, um, continue on with the cycle. <laughs> like, okay. Someone shoot their shit in the air with the Six of Wands and it failed, and now they're afraid possibly with Apology? Or maybe they are afraid of the new beginning with the Page of Cups. And we have the Page of Pentacles down here as well, or the Princess of Pentacles. And she represents a new start as well, a greater investment to be made if this is followed through. There's not going to be disappointment. It just requires a little bit of giving up. And that's how you would make the Wheel of Fortune go, like, just... Nurture yourself, understand the situation is not satisfying, and... Apologize for not getting away with it. And get out the new beginning in order to go on. I'll see you later, Scorpio. Bye-bye.